So after my last video, I just received so many comments from people asking, how can we see how much free memory our Fire Stick has? Or how can we quickly see what the current CPU utilization is? And it really made me wonder that how many things do I know that I think are common knowledge, but as the saying goes, if you don't know, then you just don't know. So in this video today, let me show you some cool or maybe unknown things you can do on your Fire Stick to really just get the most from your device. Now, all you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So let's start with the first one. How can I quickly see how much free memory that my Fire Stick has? what the current CPU utilization is, but then also see what kind of resolution my videos are playing because sometimes you think you're watching something in 4K, but in fact, it's just 1080p. Now, the easiest way to do that is to use the developer tools menu because that comes with its own built-in system X-ray. Now, to get that on your device, just go over to search and just type in DEV. As soon as you get to the V, you see the option for developer tools menus. That's the application there, so let's click on that. So install that onto your device and when you open it, it looks like this. So let's now click on the developer tools menu and we have the option there for system x-ray. Let's turn that on. And now we can see at the top exactly how much free memory my device has. And we can see it has around about 230 meg. And we can also see those four bars there, which is your quad core CPU. So you can see exactly what each of the cores is currently doing and how busy or active your device is. Now, the other thing we can enable in here is the advanced options. Let's turn that on. And this will now show you from a multimedia point of view exactly what resolution, what codec, what frame rate a video is playing. So let's leave both on. Let's now press the home key. Let's say, for example, now if I open up YouTube and let's pause that for a second. Here we can just confirm that this video is using the VP9 codec. It is running at 4K resolution at 23 frames per second. And we can also confirm in the system X-ray that my remote control for my 4K Fire Stick is currently at 68% battery or that's how much battery I've got left on my device. It's a great application and a quick way to see exactly how busy or active your device is. Now, if you want to turn that off, let's press the home key, go back into the developer tools menu, and we can now turn that off. Let's back out of that. The next cool thing we can do on our Amazon device is to mirror the screen. So that means anything you have on your smartphone or tablet, you can beam that display directly onto your Fire Stick without installing any third party software. Now the easiest way to do that is if you hold down the home button and click on mirroring. This then enables a display mirroring. So all I need to do now is open up my Android phone, select the option to uh, smart view which is what it is on Samsung phones. Uh, click on that. And I now see my Fire Stick in the list. I can now click on that, give that a second. And there we have it guys. So now where I'm looking on my phone, as you can see, I'm just browsing my website. And wherever I click on, all of that display is being beamed directly onto my Fire Stick. And that it is once again without installing any third party software. And the reason why I keep saying about the third party software is, if you want to mirror your iOS device, so your iPad or your iPhone, you do have to use some third party software. Now, the easiest way to do that is, is just use your voice and say the word air screen. So this is a completely free application. I can click on that, click on download. Let's open that up. Let's click on start now. That's now started. I can now get my Apple device, click on screen mirroring. And we can see at the top, I see the AS AFT MM. I can now click on that. And within a couple of seconds, my iPhone screen should now be beamed directly onto my Fire Stick. And we can see it's done exactly that. So now anything I do on my iPhone. So for example, here I'm on my website again. If I back out of that, YouTube. So basically anything that I do on my phone, once again, is now being beamed directly onto my Fire Stick. So that's probably the easiest way we can beam our Android devices and iOS devices onto our Amazon device. Let's back out of that. The next tip is all about this. Can you guess what it is? So that navigation sound can actually be turned off. And the easiest way to do that is just go to settings, go to display and sounds, go to audio and click on this. Let's now press back button. And we can now browse through our Fire Stick without that horrible 
clicking sound. So it is a simple tip, guys. But again, if you don't know, you don't know. Let's back out of this. Next up we have, how can I quickly close my background tasks or my foreground tasks with one click? Well, now you guys know how to see the free memory. We can see we have just over 600 meg. I now start the fast task killer, one click. That flushes all of those applications and we have just under, oh, we have one gig of free memory now. Now some quick points about this application because as you guys can see, there's really not much to it, just one click. It flushes all of those things that can flush out and you're pretty much good to go. Now, some of the questions I received on this, let me just clarify them now. So uh, no, this application does not terminate your VPN. So if your VPN is running and you open this application, you can go back to your VPN and you'll see that the VPN has not been terminated. And probably the most common question I received on this was, how does this application differ to the background apps and process list? Now I actually reached out to the developer of the application to ask that, why does the application always show so many applications running where I know 100% I've not started those applications? And I'll actually put his response on the screen, but essentially he was saying that on Android, even if you don't actually start these applications, they're still allocated a small amount of RAM, which is why when you open up his application, it does show that so many more things are running, even though you didn't start them. And even when you full stop them, you'll notice that you won't actually get much RAM back because they weren't properly started anyway. Whereas with this application, as we can see guys, one click and we go from 600 megs of free memory to one gig because it does actually stop those applications that were started properly. Let's back out of that. Now the next one could potentially help a lot of people, especially in the current climate where not many people are going out or you're not really able to visit your friends and family, this could really make a difference. So just imagine you're on your device and you're just about to start a movie or your streaming session and you receive a phone call from a friend or a family member and they tell you that they are stuck on the fire stick or they don't know how to do something and can you help? Now, wouldn't it be amazing if you could actually see their fire stick screens to see exactly what issue they're having and then talk them through on how you can fix it. Well, just imagine that this is their fire stick. All they need to do is go down here and open up TeamViewer QS, which is quick support. You tell them to do that. And once they've done that, all they need to do on the phone is just tell you your special ID number. And there we can just see that mine is 1690 130205. Now on their Android device or on their Windows computer, I think there's pretty much TeamViewer clients for all of the different platforms. All they need to do is open up TeamViewer. So let's just say that's their device over there. They can now open up TeamViewer on their device. And all they need to do now is just enter in your code, which is 16901302. Once they've typed the code in, they now click on remote control. And what happens then? We see a prompt on our screen asking us, do you allow this remote connection to come onto your Fire Stick? And the key thing to understand here, guys, is they could be anywhere in the world on whichever internet connection, but through TeamViewer, they'll now be able to connect into your device and see exactly what you're seeing. So what I can do now on my Fire Stick is click on allow, and let's see what they see on their screen. And there you can just see it guys. Now anything I do on my device, they can see exactly what I'm doing on my screen. So let's say for example, I was asking, how do I turn on ADB? They can tell me, go over to your settings. It just makes troubleshooting so much easier when you can see exactly what the person is seeing on their screen. Now, of course, they can't actually remote control your device. They can only see your screen. However, I'm working on a separate application which will actually allow you to fully remote control your device from the internet. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you are subscribed. And here you can basically just talk them through, clicking on things, they can see your screen. So that's how easy it is to share your screen with anybody on the internet, as long as they've got your connection ID. And again, if you do have people that are regularly stuck on their Fire Stick, installing this TeamViewer QS on their device will just make that troubleshooting so much easier. And there will be a new tutorial page on my website, which will show you how to get all of the software or all of the applications mentioned in this video. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. If you leave the comment below, hashtag Firestick, then I know you've made it this far in the video, which I really do appreciate. I'll then heart that comment. So many thanks for your support, guys. Really appreciate you watching. I wish everybody happy holidays and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.